Hello, my name is Maxim and today I want to talk about Ansible roles. In previous video we checked how to use Ansible playbooks, but in that example we created all code in the one file. And roles allow you to logically split code into like some units I would of code I would say. So for example, I can create the role which will set up Postgres or Apache HTTPD and I can easily share those roles with other team to reuse. So how to create role? So role is just a folder structure on the file system. So I can do such as new folder, create folder roles, create some other folder, create files, but there is the a bit simpler way to do it with command Ansible Galaxy. Ansible Galaxy uh, allow you to create the new roles or it allow you to download the roles from the Ansible Galaxy, which we will check later. Right now I'm going to create role. So I need to do a role in it. And I specified here as roles slash HTTPD because I want roles folder to be created. So once I run this command, I have new folder roles created and inside I see HTTPD folder and there is a bunch of other folders. So let's check what is inside of each of them. So the first one is the default. This is the variables which has like lowest value. So it's kind of default value for some variables. If you specify this variable on any other level, it will, it will be overwritten. So files, this is the location where static files are stored. So if you need for Ansible to copy some file uh, from local machine when you are running Ansible to remote, so files, this is the best place. Handlers. Uh, handlers, this is the piece of Ansible code, but which is executed only in certain condition. For example, we can have um, create some configuration file and when this configuration file is updated or created, uh, I want to restart the service. So handlers, this is the place where you need to put code like that. Meta, this is the argument, like this is the parameters of your uh, playbook if you want to, up sorry, role, if you want to upload it to the Ansible Galaxy where you need to provide the license, Ansible version, platforms, different kind of tags, uh, author name, description, and many other things. Uh, tasks, this is the main file where we are going to create uh, our code because this is the task what is executed inside of the Ansible and task, tasks are using the stuff from the other, other folders such as variables, handlers, and other things. Templates, templates, this is the similar to the file, but in file folder you store static file and inside of the templates using the library Jinja2, you can dynamically generate like configuration file or any other files which you need. So test, this is the tests for uh, for your role. And vars, this is the vars which has higher priority than default. So for example, if I'll create some variable such as username in the defaults, and I will create same variable in the vars, and when I run Ansible playbook, uh, value from the vars will be used. And now let's try to create the role which will set up Apache HTTPD. So I'm going to open the tasks main.yaml. I can create other files here and include them in the main, but main should be here. This is like the main entry point which will be executed, but I can have as many files as I need. And to install the Apache, I'm going to use create just simple for um, for the Red Hat OS because I already prepared EC2 instance type of Amazon Linux. So I will create, but also I can create role kind of parameterized to work on any other OS. So let, let's try to create. So first will be install Apache on Red Hat. This is, will be the name. And I'm going to use yum module. I can specify Ansible built in, which is recommended way. So let me do like that, Ansible built in. And then I can specify yum, or I can specify just simply yum without this Ansible built in. It will work in both cases, but you may get some like error on notification that you need to use Ansible built in. 
So next one, I need to provide the name and package name, which will be HTTPD and next state and state will be, let's choose latest. Of course, I need to add become because I need sudo permission to be able to, to run this task. Okay, so this will uh, install Apache, but simply install is not enough. It's need to be started, enable it, or we may need to add some configuration files. So now let's start, once service is installed, let's make sure it's enabled and it's started. So I would call this as start HTTPD. And for this, I'm going to use another module with name service. So service, and here is few options. I need to provide the name, which will be HTTPD. Also, I need to provide the state. State in our case will be the started. And also I want service to be enabled. Enabled, that means that after reboot of OS, Apache will automatically start. And for that, I also need become because I need sudo permission to be able uh, to, to enable the service. So after this, we have the service, but we also want to have some uh, uh, web page to be available. And for, for web page, I can use like the file if I have predefined web, web page, but I want dynamically generate a uh, web page based on some variables. So I'm going to use the templates. First of all, let's create inside of the defaults. I'm going to create variable, it's username, and I would name it Maxim as, as my, my name. Next, I can create the template. So for the template, I'm going to use index.html, but I'm going to also add J2. This is the Jinja extension. And here I'm going to use just HTML. And how can I use variables here? So this is like the simple uh, HTML. So I can use, for example, B, B tag. And inside of B tag, I want to say hello. And I want to print the username. So I can do this using the square uh, curly braces. And inside I can just print username. So this should be enough just to generate uh, like this template. But also, of course, we are missing the task inside of the Ansible, which will generate. To generate template, I'm going to use the another service, which is called template. So let's call it generate index HTML. Right then, I'm going to copy this Ansible built in and I would say dot template. And for template, I need to provide few parameters. First one is the source. This is the location of for, for this file on the file system where Ansible is executed. And because I'm using the folders template, I don't need to specify like full pass. I can just type my username. So I can, sorry, not username, but file name. So I can just copy this index.html.j2. And next one, I need to provide the destination. And for Apache, destination will be var www, too many w's, html, and index.html. And of course, I need become because if I remember correctly, this file there is fo folder owned by default by a root user. So I can, of course, create Apache user and change the permissions, but I think root user will be fine for now. And now I have everything, but there is the one issue. For example, I want each time when this uh, file is updated. So for example, I modified this template or I changed the username. I want for Apache to be restarted. So I can add here, I can add another task restarted, but this task will be executed every time, even when file is not updated. And I don't want my system to be restarted every time when Ansible is executed because sometimes Ansible run by schedule, for example, every 30 minutes to make sure um, no manual changes were introduced into the system, like to, to override them. So I, I don't want to be this to be restarted. So I can use handlers for that. So how can I do? 
let me copy this start httpd and I would duplicate this here but with minor changes I'm going to delete enable it and state I'm going to put restart it and let me call it restart httpd so now I created the handler but how can I call the handler I can call the handler from any other tasks and in my case it will be the template task so what I can do I can add here notify and notify this is the list I can have the many handlers I can copy the name of this handler I can put the name here so after this every time when uh, this task report that something is changed handler will be executed but be aware that handlers are executed only after the end of the execution so it, it won't be uh, executed immediately after this task it will wait until last task and only after that handler will be executed so now let's try to run ansible so i prepare instance so i have here the instance id and also i prepare the inventory file not sure if this is correct IP. Yes, this is correct IP. Here I have the Ansible user and Ansible private key. So I can run Ansible. But one thing is missing. I need to specify which role do I want to use. So previously we used this main.yaml entry point as a place where we are executing the tasks. But this time I'm going to run roles. So I would provide here roles. And roles, this is the list of the roles. So I can add my role HTTPD because I named the role in this way. So now I can run playbook. It will be Ansible playbook minus E inventory uh, main.yaml. So let's try. It asked me if I trust this host. Yes, I trust. And now it should start executing these tasks one by one. So you may see first is to install Apache on the Red Hat. And this time it should print status as changed because Apache was installed. Then it will start HTTPD, it generate index HTML, and finally it should call the handler because this task is report changed. You see, it's, it's called running the handlers. So now all four tasks report as changed, but what happened if I run it again? Let's try. This, this time all tasks should report as status okay and handler won't be executed because a template task didn't notify uh, the handler to execute so let's see okay 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 so nothing changed and handler was not executed but if i will go to the template and i would add here exclamation mark and let's run it again and let's see what what happened this time ansible should detect that template of changed and it will regenerate the file on the machine file system and this should automatically trigger the handler let's try you see it's reported the changed and it's executed the handler so now let's also try to ssh to the machine to see what file was generated so i'm going to use this command only the change the ip address and directory which I need to check. This is the var www. You see, it generated hello maxim with exclamation mark. So that what we describe here in the template. So you can always create your own roles, but Ansible has very great great community, and there is the website which is called Ansible Galaxy. So let's try. And this is like collection of roles, like you, you can find almost any role which you need. So right now we created like our simple role for Apache, but I can try to find here a role. And I'm going to filter for not the best match, but the load count because I want to find the most popular. I'm going to skip the collections because what I'm interested in the role. So first role is found HTTPD, deployed. This is not what we're interested in, but here is the HTTPD role. So I can open it by clicking right here. For some reason it's not opening. Uh, Let's wait for a minute. 
maybe it will open and let me copy this right here I can try to open this in the new window maybe that will work okay so now I have opened the role here is like the score quality score community score you can uh, like tell something about this this role you can add like your you can kind of add rating here is the platforms which is supported the uh, versions which were released and here is the comment how this role can be installed so I will, can copy this comment and I can just simply run this comment in the terminal so I already have this role installed so I can do minus minus force it will force to download this role so as you may see this role is uploaded oh, sorry downloaded and now I can use it uh, in this documentation you can find much more information how to use this role what parameters are supported variables and much more so and but I want just simply to use this role so what I can do I can just copy here role name and I can replace my role with this role and I believe it will fail because I need to specify become true because of course Apache cannot be installed uh, if using with, without pseudo permissions so th this time uh, it should install everything and we can open the link to the repo it should be somewhere here and from here you see that a lot of steps were ignored so this like test some information like if something is enabled a lot of tasks are skipped because it may be like use some conditions uh, so it's configured port so a lot of things happen here but as you may see most of them are skipped because we didn't configure those through the parameters and you can find this role on the github so here is the information what's what's like this, the same structure which we have in our example but it will be most likely a bit more complicated so here is the main yaml and main like import some as you may see it's install packages and import some other packages and it's doing many many things so configured power ports only when OS family is Debian or it's used Linux so in the same way you can find any other role and you can use them uh, for, for your like needs and that's all what I wanted to show you today thank you for your attention please do not forget to subscribe my channel to be notified when new video is released bye